I'm Paul, the leader of Ghost Gatherers. And I'm in a haunted gravel pit. So you may have heard of gravel pits. <laughs> Maybe. But you've never heard of a haunted one, have you? Well, now you have. Because we are live in Dayton, Maine, at the most hauntedest gravel pit I've ever seen in my life. Right now, I'm about to introduce you to the new members of our team. Get ready. You might know some of the original crew from Ghost Gatherers, but here they are. Phil, our resident historian. That's Phil. He's got his residency. It's legit. Um, James, you know him. He's Brian, Brian's our tech guy. Hey, tech Brian, specialist. say hi to him again. Good to see you back Venus for another back adventure. Again. Venus, back again. Uh, um, she's, do you still work at Hot Topic? Um, yeah. That's good. Awesome, Brett! You might remember him. He's, uh, he's very serious. I think our group's getting uh, a little too big. Brett, now, now, what is your, what is your angle tonight? Right angle. That's what I'm talking about. You know a professional when you hear one. And of course, our resident psychic, Tammy. It's great to be here tonight, Paul. She knew I was gonna say that. So crazy. I can't even talk to you. <laughs> so let me introduce the new guys. First guy here is John. Now, John, what are you doing here? Well, I just transferred in. I was from the Michigan Unnatural Findings Foundation. I'm a jack of all trades, master of several. Do you have a problem with that? No, I mean, obviously not. So John seems to be a, uh, apparently an expert from Michigan who is so big in his field that he moved to Maine. Because that makes sense. Because there's real ghost hunters in Maine. I mean, other than us. Also, I think John's full of Eric is here too. Um, Erica, now you, from what I understand, based on what you sent me on the direct messages on Twitter, you are our fan club president. I am, and I'm so excited to be here. Oh my gosh, this is Thank so great. Thank you so much. That is so great. So yeah. now, Erica, you won a contest to be here, right? I did. And I uh, conduct a group on Facebook, uh, consists of six people, you know, my, uh, friend Jess, my friend Jeff, um, Susie, Dennis, Gary, and um, what we, I didn't go over their applications yet, so to uh, get the, um, to pick who can go, I was, could go. It sounds fair. Cloud, that's his real name. What sort of professional level can we expect from you? Well, clearly you've got a historian in Phil. I'm aware of that, his general knowledge and his uh, sort of generalized uh, treating of, of various things that go on around here. The fact is I have a very specialized degree from the University of South Berwick in 19th century non-indigenous history of people right in this particular area, and I actually did my dissertation for my bachelor's degree in this gravel pit. That is awesome. Phil is going to be pissed. Yeah, well, I mean, I don't even know why... I mean, I'm your history expert, and then you go get a guy with a dissertation on this stuff. I mean, yeah, maybe I didn't know everything about it, and yeah, probably he was more helpful than I was, but it was, you know, it's kind of, it's kind of a poopy thing to do. Shut up, James. Also, Mr. Bill here. Hello. Bill, now, what are you doing? Uh, I'm, I'm here for, for sound. I'm, I'm getting ghost voices, the EVP, the extra phenomenal voice perception. Yes. Uh, I've got all the tools. I have a background in audio and mixing. And uh, if you have any like birthday parties, I'm a synth player. Oh, That's good. Your kids oh, like wow, 80s really? music, I can do that. Um, I have wait, a wait, 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 wait. Uh, oh. What? <laughs> yeah, you're the guy who bought this off of me on eBay. This thing's like 20 years old. <laughs> I traded it in so that I could buy this thing. Man, this is still a piece of shit. I don't even... <laughs> you're, um, you're... You're Steve420. Yeah, I got I got kicked out of a band because of this thing. Uh, thanks. Well, it, if you're like wanting to make Nintendo music, though, it's pretty awesome. It's, it's an art form, like, all on its own. I don't understand 
Where'd you get the camera? Oh, uh, who'd, you, who'd you get that from? Flag Day present from my dad. Cool. Yeah, how was Flag Day? Oh, it, was, it was good. I couldn't complain. Dinner was awesome. I'm sorry. I'm getting ideas for lyrics. I got. I got. Yeah, so that's Bill. So just so you know, this is now a hybrid team of really, really professional professionals who have dedicated their lives and most of their adult nerdism to hunting and gathering ghosts. Specifically gathering, because we are the ghost gatherers. But I mean, according to this book... Um, and Zach actually wore these boots. Well, how did you get those boots? One of the guys that works here came in this booth, they never found his other boot. And they've only found one. And um, That belongs in a museum. This boot really meant a lot to Zach. And I feel that if we're here today and we find the other boot, it would mean a lot to his family. And... It belongs in a museum. That yeah. belongs in a museum, Tammy. Yeah, and I... I just... I want to help. Well, they're trying to focus more on history and books and what people had wrote. And to me, I go by feeling innerness. And they just don't get that. Uh, oh no, there's spectrum. lines and numbers, you're right. Look, there are lines and numbers. This is the case. Yeah. Sometimes lines and numbers aren't just lines and numbers. Sometimes they have scientific, and clearly they're not just spiking right. for no reason. Right. right. Exactly. Right. It, Thank you. No, listen. The... Yeah, Brian, okay. can, you, can you run a, a base level plyometrics on that too? Because yes. I want to. Yeah, of course. I just want to so, double check the K2s. This ladder apparently used to be set up right next to the nipple, and he walked up that to. Let's just put it this way. He. He caressed the nipple. I didn't want to really go that well, graphic. Phil, going by what you're saying, wouldn't, couldn't this also be considered a nipple? So maybe he just likes smaller breasts. He may have liked gay cups. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. He could. Okay, facts. Thank you. Finally, we're getting some facts. Ghost gatherers. So, has anyone seen Brett? I have not seen Brett. Uh, where's where's where, Brett? Where'd Brett go? Brett, there's nipples. Brett. It's, it's a big group, isn't it? You know. Oh is he God. really ex-military? He is ex-military. He's probably doing some recon, yeah, if I, I know think so. Brett. I, think so. I, I doubt it. Brett, we no, have no. nipples over here! Oh, John, it's kind of dirty. Let's look in dirty places. It's a pretty dirty place right there. Nipples. Yeah, we we got nipples. Yeah. But what were you doing in there, Brett? I, I think he pooped in there. Surviving. Ice cream truck. Yeah. Okay, first of all, I'm into facts. The first fact that doesn't make sense, why is there an ice cream truck in a gravel pit? Oh, holy sh**. What kind of ghost blows the ass end of an ice cream truck out? Better yet, what kind of ice cream blows the ass end of an ice cream truck out? Like. Moose tracks with nitroglycerin? I don't know. That That's doesn't make sense. Clearly, this is paranormal. We need it. Brian, what are the spectrum saying to us? I'm gonna. I'm gonna have to go inside. I've got. I've got so many different levels coming out of this. I can't. I can't isolate just one. Yeah. Uh, I'd like to point out that there is some lawn equipment in there. Lawn, lawn equipment. It could have been abandoned, but it could mean something more important. Hybrid ice cream lawn. Mm -hmm. Like this whole place is a dump site. I, I think it's interesting to note that the the. The ghost that we are looking here, or looking for here, or if you will, the ghost progenitor, uh, was here before this ice cream truck was ever manufactured. And I think it's interesting. A question arises: Did this ice cream truck come here on its own, or was this ice cream truck, in fact, brought here by the ghost? Oh, I didn't even think of it that way. Well, what Phil, how come you never come up with stuff like that? What's that? Now? What's the? Uh... Okay, what's the new guy doing over there? What's he? Is he taking the? I just figured if he took audio, you do the K2s and the LMPs, we, we'd be all set, but... Bill, yeah. hey, what are you what are you doing for Spectrums? Because Brian... I was honking the horn. I was, I was seeing if it still worked. Does it? No, I got nothing. Yeah, guys, seriously, Brian is here for the science, and if we're going to just touch stuff, we got to let Brian know. Oh, wait, touching is mm -hmm. science. That's It is science, but not if... Brian needs a clean field for the K2. K2 is a very finicky Spectrum. K2 runs from 33 point odd milliseconds to at least 4 ohms. And I don't know where you are on that, but I know that that spectrum's small. It's right around there, exactly. See? Thank you, Phil. Yeah. 
James. No, no, no. You James. James. You don't have to look at everything. You have to, look you have to everything. double guess everything I say, James. Right. Sorry. I've been doing what? this for at least yeah. three months. Um, by the way, Paul, uh, just because you you were saying, like, I don't come up with stuff here. Um, it actually turned out the ghost loved ice cream, even back in the, uh, like, you know. What flavor? Did you get that out of my face? You don't know the flavor, you don't know the flavor. I mean, that's all I'm saying. If you don't know it, you don't know it, Phil. Vanilla. That's my favorite. Oh, you're just that's guessing ice vanilla. Okay, yeah. I'm guessing yeah. vanilla, but who doesn't like vanilla? This uh, is science, not not guess the flavor. He's right. Many, perhaps, Phil, with your you general know. knowledge, you could enlighten us. How many flavors of ice cream were there in the 1850s? If it likes chocolate. Okay, that vanilla. actually I do know, because I also am kind of an expert on ice cream. Because... Very well. I'm getting some feedback. Oh yeah, I, I, I'm trying to call him out. Ghosts like certain tones. I'm it's on... him. Yeah, yeah, no. So yeah. that's not a ghost talking. That's just your your stuff. No, no, no. I'm trying to draw him out with tones. Ghosts like different tones. It's okay. So how do I hear the ghost if all I can hear is just squiggle squaggle? You know, it's gonna be a boy who cried wolf thing. I'm only gonna come running so many times because he's gonna be playing that. No, no. I read about this. Like some, some like oh, different. Oh, you oh. told me the ohms. I said it to that. Oh, so it was online. Well, yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, fine. Cool. Oh, what? You trust the book or? No. Listen, if Wikipedia says that Sinbad died, does that mean it's true? No. It, if I say that I've been hunting ghosts professionally now for at least two and a half weeks. That is actually. That's a, that's a fact. That's See not the difference? True. No. Obviously, there's a difference. Are you talking about the comedian or the uh, sailor? Yeah. I'm talking about Sinbad. The sailor. Professional comedian. And sailor. James. I don't know what you're talking about. You're a dick. You can't even read, Phil. What's wrong with that? I can't. I'm a hey, slow Shane, reader. We're gonna, we're gonna need some visual analysis of what the f happened back here. We are dead serious about ghosts, and ghosts were dead seriously in here. No, ex nobody survives an explosion like this. Look at this, John. What are you getting? What are you getting? Well, I'm picking up some feelings of extreme dread, some feelings of mild hunger, and uh, I would just like to clarify that the hunger I'm feeling is past hunger for food, not current hunger for revenge. Paul, this is freaking me out. What? Yeah. Because I was reading more about this area, yeah. and there was another death here. What? P James, stop, James, please. James, I just did a really good what? Okay, and I am on camera. Yeah, and this was back in like this, like 73 or something, the, yep. so the early 70s. I can 70s. tell by the rust, this is at least 73, 74. And that sounds right I'm not sure if he was a hunchback or not. I don't know what to say either. Was that right? Like, is that sort of not politically correct, or do you want me to say that again? No, he's a cripple either way. It doesn't he's matter what you say. Yeah, he's, he's a cripple. Wait, did, did you call him a Shay said something very ignorant about colored folks. Watch the boot, young lady. No, what? don't! What? No! Don't pick up the boot! Why? It is a vessel of psychic energy. My God, fan mail woman, put it back down. Well, but can, can, I just, touch can you psychic, please? Look, I, I have. If you can, saying that, I can touch. I should have never said it, Dan. I mean, oh my Christ! You can't just pick what? up a boot. CSI already like. It's, no, this is not CSI. What? This is psychic energy. This is a different kind of a situation. These are dead people talking to us, not us. What? It's different. It's different, young lady, and one day you'll understand. I, I couldn't touch the boot. I had a permission slip, okay? A permission slip that stated I could do that. Well, See, something to do with stairs. What? No building? Does anyone else think that's weird? I just came up these stairs and now nothing? Paul, hold the boot up there. See if you feel anything. What we'll do is we'll let the boot guide us. I'm entirely disappointed. Um, Paul seems to have no sense of direction, no sense of what technology is needed, no sense of how to properly channel a spirit, no sense of really much of anything. He, 
stares at objects and makes claims about them without any real um, extra scientific uh, fact, um, not even utilizing any uh, prominent theories. In short, I feel he is uh, incompetent for command. See how stupid this sounds? James, you always sound stupid when you say it. When you say it with that condescending, oh, okay. Condescending, yeah. oh, my mom's dating your dad voice. Oh, yeah. It always just oh, makes, no. I wish makes she, everything. I wish she weren't. Uh, yeah, you know what? I wish she weren't. She wish she weren't either. Oh. So what? Just because you don't believe doesn't mean what I'm doing isn't real. Uh, Paul, yeah. something that's been bothering me for a little while now is uh, what type of flashlight are you using? Um, I'm using a ever ready. Uh, purple or lavender? That, that's what I was afraid of. That runs on what? D cells? C cells at sure. best. Yeah, maybe. Um, I really think that you really need to be turned on to LED, mini LED specifically. Um, it much more closely emulates the energy signature of a candle, uh, which would be what most ghosts are really used to congregating towards. Oh. I'm surprised you haven't converted like five years ago by now. It's a little unprofessional. I just yeah, well, I mean, I mean. <laughs> Do you have two of those? Um, yes, because if one of them goes dark, then I need the other one. Right, but you should probably... Do you have two of those? No, what I, what I was going to say to you, though... <laughs> you should. I was going to say uh, that you could hold on to this one as a backup, and then I'll use one of yours to make sure it's still, it's still working, and that way mm -hmm. if you need a backup, you have one. Yep. Right? Did you notice there's a lot of rocks? Mm-hmm. Definitely a lot of rocks. What, what are you using to channel those rocks? I'm just, just curious. Uh, I don't know. I just got a feeling of just a feeling. A lot of you're not uh, from not rocks. channeling through an object. Yeah. Mm. Uh, have you have you really tried or thought about trying um, channeling through a Tibetan mask? No, I want to focus on these. Um, she's really not going to pick up anything other than what's nearby her. She's not going to get the focus that she needs. I'm just concerned. I, I know you're concerned, um, but can I just can I say something to mm -hmm. you? This isn't your f***ing investigation, all right? So why don't you shut the f*** up, just deal with it, and we'll just go and do what I want to do, because it's all about what I, what I say happens. I, I'm just trying to help you out here. I know that you, uh, you have some goals that you want to achieve. I want to achieve them, too. Listen, I'm going to break your little f***ing Tibetan face if you don't, if you don't stop My talking. face isn't Tibetan. I'm from Michigan. I don't hide behind a mask, John. The only mask I hide behind is the mask of truth. And truth says science rules. And science says whatever I say science says. At the time. All right, guys, we're doing EVP. You Actually, Ben, get your audio equipment play. in. Yeah. This is the foul play I was talking about This earlier. may be our big break, guys. So if everyone could just shut up. Hold on, this, I, I just got this today, hold on. Are we looking for? Mm. Oh my god, you are, you are louder than your mother, James. And I've heard her, she's, she's loud. Tuesday, Wednesday nights. Yeah, yelling for your she's dad right off the mark. fucking Because nothing's on TV. Job. And the only thing on is my dad on your mom. Brett, these are teeth marks. And unemployment, he's on Check that well, out. Well, he's on unemployment because he got laid off, not because he's you know, a lazy guy. Like what do you get out of that? I got it. No? Don't, it's okay. menu and selected the same okay, button, I which is just st st stupid. I, what do you taste? This is this is from the 18, 19, uh, 1982. It's him again. Oh, oh my Jesus God. God. I, I thought that was a ghost chart. speaking I know, up on I'm it. kidding. It's spikes. Just, is there a ghost? No, no it's, it's, it's his, this piece of he has Japanese crap. Sorry, I didn't. Okay, can you just shut up so I can do a... Oh, yeah, now who's the racist? Ghost! What is your name? So definitely, we, there was a name said. We'll find it in post. Um, just... So that's good. We play it back. When we play it back. We always find something. Some people will say, "Hey, Paul, that's not anything. That's you whispering something on your computer into the mic." And I'm like, "No, I don't even know how to do that." I, but I do know how to overanalyze audio until I, I find something. I thought we hear the name like the first time. We can just hear it better, like when we recorded it, because I didn't hear anything. No, you don't ever hear it on the show. You hear it after when we check it out again. 
Oh, could you like drop the levels? I'm just like, doing it the same way Ghost Adventures does it. I don't know what the science is. I just know that, that it works every single time. Okay, I'm not gonna argue. All right, thank you. How they do it. That is okay. how they do it. All right. Who's that thing? And often the name Kevin being heard. Kevin? You know what? I don't know any Kevins, actually. Uh, I, I, think so. I think I heard Kevin whisper. I said it, but maybe I was channeling. Dude, see, now he didn't know about that. So he just said, Kevin, maybe the ghost is talking through James. I think if the ghost is talking through James, the ghost is retarded. Well, it was a hunchback. What, now who's racist? Buttons. Brian, what are you what are you getting from a from a high flow? The high the the, the high flow was at, at about a nine, what? just at the initial reading, which led me to take it off the ultraviolet. And when I did, I ran a cross spectrum check. I've never seen it at nine. I I've, I've never seen I've it. Never. Yeah, Brian, that's true too. Actually, we're both doing our job, man. That's what I just found. Them. Oh my god. That's why you felt the reading. Yep. Oh my he god. He wore his sunglasses at night. Hey, can God. you get an FPS spectrum off that? Tammy. I'm, 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 I'm doing the change. The right. guy who was... Yeah. Okay. The guy That's who was driving the truck was wearing sunglasses. Yeah. What truck? That makes a lot of sense. The second guy that died, remember the one I found that died, was involved with cows or something? You found out someone died? Because I read the story online once where there's this guy who... Um, was it by R.L. Stein? No. Oh. Um, it was... There was this guy, he uh, killed people, and the victim held a rock, and it's believed that the soul went into the rock. So, it's also said that when you crush the rock and break it open, the soul is free. <clears throat> we need to find a rock crusher. That's what we need. All right, guys, rock crusher. I think we need a rock eater. No, that's the Flintstones. We need a rock crusher. If Consider... we all get together and team up, we could push that truck. I'm gonna start. Have we considered the fact that this might not be someone we want free? This might be someone that is better off entombed in a rock? That's probably why I felt that energy in that rock! Guys, he's gonna hurt himself. Ah, come on! Come on, we need more people! Help! Come on, push it so we can get that rock crushed. I'm trying to push it! I'm trying to push it real good! I, push ah. it! Don't pull it! Push it! Oh, push, push it! Push, push it! Push it! Push it. Ah. Push it! Push it! Real good. Ah! Push it! Push it! Push it! Yeah, of course I pushed the ice cream truck. I was the first one out there. I thought for sure I could move it all by myself, but I couldn't. I've, p I've pushed bigger things, but that was in my youth. You gonna push it? You gonna push it real good? Okay. Push it! All right, guys, ready? Guys, ah! ah! oh moving. It. You haven't moved yet. Is it in neutral? I just pulled yeah, my yeah. hand. Ah! Wait, are you just possessed? I was yeah. pushing. Oh. Why does it smell I funny over little. there? Oh. Ah! Alright, we'll just find a real rock crusher, maybe. I pooped my pants a little. Not enough that, like, like, obviously I didn't change my underwear. Guys, I found this! Is that the hunchback sock? Oh, yeah. I think that's my sock. You gonna read it I'm on it first. Where's Brett? Brett, test this. Right, don't put that in your oh, oh, oh. No wonder he can't keep his Jesus. poo in his bowels. People. Does it... I think it's his. It feels like it's his. I have a lot of energy. Is this looking for the hunchback, right? There's like a lot of... This is this is a hunchback sock. Definitely. Would you shut that goddamn I'm thing sorry, off? I'm sorry! Jesus Christ! Christ! God, sex ghost changes everything, right? Guys, Could I you. think I think what it comes down to is Brett is a survivor. I know that that's unrelated. But he is a survivor. He's lived through harsher things than we can even imagine with our best imaginations. Okay? So I want, Brett, I'm going to ask you if you would be willing to stay by yourself in the dark in this shack. Yeah. I thought and, this was cotton candy. Okay, it's, yeah, it's definitely not. Why don't you stay in this shack 
Got it. And record everything that you do. We're gonna do it on night vision, okay? Okay. Just show us how to survive. Uh, survive. Brad, Brad there, it's, it's high voltage. Don't lick that. Wait, what? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it says how, he's gonna lick it, though. D don't he lick, licks, don't lick it! He licks everything. All these M&Ms on the floor. Not sure how old they are, but mm, surprisingly delicious. This, I don't know what it is, but I'm gonna eat it. Mm. I found a, uh, found this. It's a cinnamon toast crunch milk and cereal bar. Those milk and cereal bars are nasty. I'm not gonna eat that. And put it on top of this so it might taste a little, a little bit better. There we go. Now I'm gonna eat it. And I got this. Oh, fuck. And I got this. Now I know this isn't going to do anything against ghosts because, you know, they're more than natural, they're super natural. If I get into a bind and make a, you know, sometimes you just got to go out with a bang. I don't want those ghosts getting me. I mean, I ain't afraid of no ghosts, but I go out on my terms, you know. A little bit of haul oh, oh. So what does that Tibetan mask do anyway? You're a little late to the train here. Right. Thank yeah, you. you've yeah, guys I feel a vibration boring. right here. Right in the spot. There's a vibration. And it's getting stronger and stronger. I can feel a vibration right here. Oh, oh wait. Oh never mind. Let me turn that down. I thought we were gonna turn that off. I we said, like, no cell phones. Rule Remember number six, silence? always turn off any cell phones oh you God, may have. Oh my God, where are you getting to. these rules from? They're the rules that MUFF established at our foundation. Rule number one, always have two of everything. This can apply to flashlights. This can apply to shirts. I had an extra shirt. It was hidden near the entrance. That's rule number 15. Always hide your extra things near the entrance, unless they can be held on your person. Like my flashlights. Rule number eight. Don't eat before you swim. It's good both in hunting of ghosts and in general. Rule number 13. There is no rule number 13. That would be a bad idea. Rule number 12. Always remain silent. That's why I was so silent. I'm breaking it, just so you know what it is. To prevent the type of jackassery and jackfoolery. Speaking of jackfoolery, what does MUFF stand for? It stands for the Michigan Unexplained. <laughs> Fuck you! Sure, I might go back to Michigan, but uh. A few bridges may have been burned there. Covered bridges. Uh, it's, a, it's a long story. I really don't want to go into why I'm no longer allowed near Ypsilanti. Couldn't a lot of these rocks just be the spirits of dead mosquitoes? That would make, that would make sense why there's so many rocks. That would tie it's a few good. of these things up here. Oh, yeah. Uh, like the, the nipple thing? Yeah, you know, for all we know, that rock you found, that could have been a raccoon. Oh. It didn't really mesh well with the boot or the sock. Mm -hmm. um, could be a rock. Could just be a rock. No, James. That's why our readings are so low tonight. James, negativity. All right, so now it's dark, officially. So we're going to switch to night vision. Venus, hit the night vision. This one doesn't have night vision. Oh my god, are you serious? Oh, nobody told me I needed to have night vision.
happens. It does. Day. It has it has the button right there. Is that there. the same camera from last time? It's the button right there. Did you Night get that vision. From Circuit City? You really should have checked these supplies before you uh, went yeah, out. Yeah, you really should have checked yourself before you wrecked yourself by coming on our show. That's what you should have done. All right, I'm just glad. I'm just glad. I mean, no, we don't have night vision. Okay, that's that happens. Every time. Did you, so, did you do the battery again? I I didn't do the, I didn't do anything to the battery. You haven't you haven't well, charged the battery since the last time it nice. died. At well, the it works right basement. before the last time, so I figured if we just had it, and then this time it could work probably, right? Rule seventeen: always check mm. your battery. Rule number sixteen: always check your camera battery. Rule number seventeen: always check your backup camera battery. Oh, check yourself, sir. Yeah. You just said that, you know? Rule 35. Don't repeat the guy. I'm not. I'm saying you need to... I made that one up. <laughs> that was a good one. <laughs> oh. Sorry. Sorry. That was a good one. All right. So what we'll do is we'll just we'll just keep running this camera because um, that one's working. Um, so... And we're good, right? Because as long as... Wait. No. Shit, it went out. Wait, what happened? The ghosts don't care whether Camera, you it was because I was using the headlight this whole time. Oh, so your camera's dead too? Yeah, sorry. So we have no cameras? <sighs> no. Rule 18, always check Listen, shut we're, up. Shut up. Oh, listen, God. we're not one of those lame ghost shows that has a podcast, okay? So we're going to have to... I was in my 20s, I pushed, uh, pushed, uh, uh, it was a car. It wasn't, it wasn't an ice cream truck, it was like, it was a car, but it was a really big car. The only complaint I had is when I felt my energy readings, especially with the boot in my hand, a lot of people didn't seem to really pay attention to that. They were too focused on the objects that look like nipples out there and breast. Shay said the origin of why we call white people wiggers. I've been doing this kind of work for 17 years and I saw no reason uh, to interpret my contribution as requiring pushing a truck. But uh, like this guy that I'm going to be working with today, he's recording sound. I mean, sound exists everywhere. You know, if a ghost falls in the woods and no one's there to hear it, are you going to hear a sound anyway? No. Oh, well, Brian thinks he's special because like I'm recording sound, like something you actually record, and he's recording electricity. Like, yeah, yeah, because ghosts are just farting electricity everywhere. No, they're rattling chains and they're banging on shit. Okay, they're not, they're not, you know, walking across the carpet in their slippers. Uh, oh, oh, and I got Phil's autograph, see? Oh, I love that. Ugh. So I have this book, and I was showing it off last time. Will I come back? Somebody's got to keep an eye on this uh, clown. Some would say ass clown. I wouldn't. I would be rude. Unprofessional, even. I definitely learned that before you introduce new people to the old people, you should check that the old people aren't f***ing crazy. Uh, also helps to check that the new people aren't f***ing crazy. <laughs>